Well, we're in South Florida. We were going to take our portable little grill here to the beach, but it's about to pour, so that would be kind of silly. We're going to show you how to cook a steak in a competition portable backyard barbecue. That's right, welcome back to another week of The Fogo Life. Yeah, so we've got this C4 grill, it's made by M Grills. It was designed as an SCA cook-off grill, meant for using it on competitions and making those beautiful ribeyes with the gorgeous grill marks. Well, it's good for so much more than that. People are using it for tailgating, they're taking it to the beach, they're taking it all over. It's really portable, super easy to light, so you can take it wherever you go. So we're gonna show you today how to cook a steak on this grill wherever you wanna go. Just throw it in the back of the car, take it with you, light it up and let's go. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel while I got you here and give us a thumbs up if you like the video. As we open it up, you can see this portable little grill is super self-contained. All the parts fold up beautifully inside of it here. You've got this little holder here that, will, that you're gonna to use to handle your grates. It will also hold the lid open. We've got a couple different grates and I'm gonna show you what each of those are for. We've got a charcoal box where your charcoal is going to sit in while it's burning. And this nifty, nifty little thing, it's like a, a heater box that's going to go on top. Again, we'll show you how to use that later too. So as you can see, it's pretty cool. It's really self-contained, not, not a lot of pieces to work with, so it's really easy to use. Now let's get started, man. Now we're going to put this together to start cooking in it. The fun's coming up, the fun's coming up. So one of the easy little things that I've figured out on this that I like to do, I like to take a piece of aluminum foil and just make a little boat out of it, raise the edges up a little bit and set this right down in the bottom, like that. It makes for super easy cleanup, keeps all the grease at bay. Your coals will clean up a whole lot easier. It's just way easier and just a little pro tip for you. And the next step is to put in our charcoal grate. This is what the charcoal is actually gonna sit on. There's four little tabs down in the bottom that it just sits right on top of. Goes in nice and easy, boom. The next step after our charcoal grate comes our charcoal box. So. I'm gonna set this in here. Notice the room around it leaves room for airflow to keep that fire burning nice and hot. The charcoals will sit right in there. And the most important one, the cooking grate. That's where our steak is gonna sit on to cook. And this is called our heat box. We're gonna use this towards the end of our cook. That even gets its own special cooking grate. What the? For today's cooking experiment, we're going to be using these two beautiful New York strip steaks that I got here at the local store. We're gonna do nothing super crazy here. We're just gonna go with some kosher salt and black pepper. That's it, nothing else. It's gonna be just a tasty, gonna get that full effect of that beef. But what we wanna do is we wanna season them before we start getting the grill ready because it's gonna take about 20 minutes or so. Gets the time for that seasoning to set on there. The juice is kind of the moisture to come up out of the steak. Grab those seasonings and pull it back in and flavor the steak all throughout it. Remember, if you're gonna cook a steak, either season it 20 minutes to a half hour before you're gonna cook it, or immediately right before it goes on the grill, one or the other. Otherwise, you're gonna get a little bit of a dried out steak, won't give you a great crust, so. Beautifully seasoned steaks, right? We're not done. One more little trick for you. After you're done, see there's all this salt and pepper around the edges? Take your steak, see these edges right here? Boom, just roll it right in there. Season up your edges too. Let's get some flavor on every single part of this steak. And now it's time to set up the grill. But you know what? It's not raining right now, so I say we go outside and we cook this by the pool. What do you think? Yeah? All right, let's go. Well, the beautiful part about living in South Florida is if you don't like the weather, wait 15 seconds. As soon as we set up outside, this is what happened. Two very boring minutes later. Well, that was fun. Like I said, if you don't like the weather here, just wait 10 seconds and it's going to change. So, well, at least we can get to our cook now and 
make these steaks. So first thing we're gonna do is gonna put some charcoal in here. So we're gonna use our premium charcoal. You don't need to use a ton of it for this. So I'm just gonna slip on this here glove. Just pull a couple pieces out like this. Start it up. Fire starter. And put that right on the grate here. So this is kind of what I wanna use. Kind of our medium sized pieces like this here. Nothing giant. We're gonna put them right in the chimney. Charcoals are ready. Take this out. Pour these right in the charcoal basket here. All right. There you go. Fire's going. Steaks are ready. You want to give this thing a second or two to heat up like that. You got some nice tongs. I think it's imperative. It might be a law that you click them three times before you use them anywhere you are. So we're just gonna let this heat up for another minute, and we're gonna put these steaks on and cook away. Mm. So as you can see, there's an air vent on the front. There's the same air vent on the back too, but I'm getting this thing going. I like to have them all the way open. After a while, I'm gonna close them. You'll see when we get to that point. Steak time. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah. You know it's good when you hear that sizzle. Woo, I can smell it already. Oh yeah. See, it is portable. Right out by the pool, no problem. Oh, a little rain, but no problem. Okay, that was about a minute and a half. Turn them. Oh yeah, I wish you could smell this. It smells so good. Pretty cool little portable grill, isn't it? Lignant, poolside grilling, yeah. This is what Florida living's all about, baby. All right, we got about two minutes per side, maybe a little longer, let's flip them over, look at that. Mm -mm. Let's take a look, see what the other side looks like. Oh yeah. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. Let's 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 temper them. See where we're at. All right, so we're about we're about 120 each. What we're gonna do now? We're gonna slide this out and take each of these steaks, put them up here into the heating box. I call it. Okay. Close it up. Now you slide this whole thing right over here. Slides down in there. Now you can close this too. Keep the heat in. It's gonna finish cooking it. You wanna get it to about, oh, I'm gonna get it to about 130 degrees, something like that. Pretty cool, right? Now the cool part about this grill, it's got these little holes in the top for when you have this heating box on here. You can measure the temperature of your steak right through the, the uh, top here. So we're at 130 on that one. We're gonna be ready on that. What do we got there? Let's see. 133, we're gonna pull these babies off right now. I think we're there. They're ready, so slide this out. Oh yeah, look at those babies. Let's take one. Slide them right over to our board. Number two. Beautiful. Are they gorgeous or what? We've got two beautifully cooked steaks, but our charcoal is still burning and we're at the beach. What do we do? Very simple. Close it down here. Shut your two vents, one and two. And in no time at all, the coals will be out, you'll be ready to go. But probably by the, maybe not by the time you're done eating, but it's gonna take a little bit longer. So relax, enjoy your steak. Take a jump in the pool. Mm. Oh yeah. So good. I love steak. Mm, I love my job. I'm going in for a second piece. Nah, I'll wait till I'm done. Listen, cook where it's a little bit cooler out, where it's not gonna rain. Be smarter than I am, okay? <laughs> we didn't think it was gonna, but hey, listen, stuff happens. We wanna show you, this is real life here. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I know I enjoyed this steak. This little grill performed flawlessly. The coals are already out. I could take it home now if I wanted to. So I am home, so I don't have to. Anyway, listen. Don't forget, subscribe, like, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to turn on the notifications. You don't want to miss anything that's coming up. We're teaching some basic grilling stuff, and we've got some in-depth smoking kind of things coming up as well. So you don't want to miss anything. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. I hope you're getting out and grilling this summer long. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer anything. And until then, 
We'll see you next time. Get out and grow.